Hi, my name is Mass, and today I'm going to show you how to set a game parameter using a wise type RTPC. So what we're going to use is the wise adventure game. And we're going to use one of the scenes from the 301 certification. So go to body kinetic certification 301, go to lesson 5 and open the setting game parameters using wise types. In the wise adventure game, the main light is the sun. You can use the time of day slider in the menu to determine what time of day it is, but also the position of this sun. This entire system is located on a sun game object. So if you go to the hierarchy and search for sun and click the sun game object, you will see a day night cycle script. And this script controls the day and night conditions in the wise adventure game. To demonstrate how to set a wise type RTPC, we're going to set the time of day game parameter to the same value as the current time of day, because that game parameter controls whether it's a daytime or nighttime ambience you'll hear in the woodlands and all around in the wise adventure game. So we are going to make this time of day parameter follow the time of day parameter used on the day night cycle script. So click add component, go to new script and call it set time of day RTPC and click create an ad and then open the script. What you notice is that the script is not empty. If you want to learn more about what is prepared for you in this script, there's a video for that too as well. But what we haven't shown you is the wise type RTPC property. You make a AK wise RTPC and let's name the property time of day RTPC end with a semicolon. And as usual, you have the start and you have the update function. As you might know, the start function will only be triggered once you go into play mode. So setting the time of day once is not really a good idea because we need it to update constantly. So what we can use instead is the update function. The update function is called every frame. So in this update function, let's write time of day RTPC and then a period. And then you have two options. You have the set global value and you have the set value. There's a very important difference in these two options. So the set global value sets the value globally for any game object in the game. But the set value is only per game object, meaning that only that game object you set it on will know what the value is changed to. In our case, there's only one sun. So we can use the set global value to make sure that all ambiences will know the same value. And then inside the parentheses, you need to give it a number. And here you can just give it a value, but you need the value to be referenced to the day night cycle. So we created a reference to the day and night cycle script in the game manager. And the game manager can be accessed from any script. So just write game manager and then find the time of day property. And remember to end the line with a semicolon. You can now save the script and head into Unity. Notice that there's no property appearing in this script. And that's because we forgot to add a public access modifier in front of the property so that we can see it in the inspector. And now it's there and we can go into the time of day RTPC property, go to game parameter, ambient, and take the time of day game parameter. So to test this, let's go to wise and use the game object profiler. To use the game object profiler, you need to go to watches and tell it which kind of game object you're looking at, which is just the global game object because it relates to all game objects. And then go into the game sync watches and add the time of day game parameter. You can now connect to the game. Press play in Unity and notice a steady increase in the game parameter. We can try to change the time of day in the menu as well. And you will see that the game parameter is now following that as well. If you want to learn more about how to use WISE in Unity, check out the WISE 301 certification.